I have personally seen it in China, in Malaysia, in Indonesia. Uh, it's also found in the Philippines, uh, Northern Territory of Australia. Um, it's uh, uh, also found in Taiwan. I've seen it in Taiwan. Uh, so it's uh, slowly moving. And in the first decade it was recognized, it uh, moved pretty dramatically uh, to many other areas within Southeast Asia. And it's the reason for that mainly is moving uh, infected seed pieces, uh, uh, suckers of banana. Um, it also moves very easily in uh, soil and in running water. Uh, so in areas where the pathogen has been established, it's uh, also uh, disseminated very effectively in irrigation water from uh, surface lakes and streams and that sort of thing. Um, very effective way of moving the pathogen then. So if it's going to move to other areas uh, such as India or Thailand or Vietnam, uh, uh, seed pieces probably is going to be the way by which uh, it, it's moved. Uh, history has shown that that's how it's uh, moved to a lot of different areas. Again, it's not found in the Americas, but um, our concern is that someone's going to put it in their luggage, uh, take it to Hawaii, take it to uh, uh, Central America, South America, and then once it's established, um, history has shown that these pathogens, types of pathogens, cannot be eradicated and that they move in a pretty insidious manner. It's hard to detect uh, when they are causing great damage, and by the time you do, they're very widely spread. So, um, again, beware. This is a pathogen on the move and it's going to cause great damage wherever it shows up.